Hi everyone, in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to create this beautiful side cow skirt. Please follow along. To start, I'll be using the basic skirt block. I have the half scale here just to minimize the fabric that I'll be using, but it's the same process. If you don't know how to draft the basic skirt block, I'll leave the link down in the description box below. So now let's start. I have the center front and the center back. This is center front, this is center back, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do now is to divide the front space into three. You know, I have two dots at the back, okay? So, and I only have one at the front, so I'm going to divide the space into three. I'll be dividing the front waist into three spaces, just like the back. We have three spaces at the back, so I want to have three spaces at the front also. So from the dart, now this side dart, to the center front, I'll get the midpoint, then I'll put a mark, all right, like so. I'll be connecting this dot in a curve to the side seam, okay? And also the dart also, I'll connect it in a curve to the side, okay, to create the cow. So the next thing now is from the hip line, I'll come up by three quarter of an inch. Three quarter of an inch, you can make it one. It depends on where you want your drape to start from. And it's the same process if you are using a full scale skirt. Full scale skirt is the same process. It's half scale. I'm using the same method. So the next thing now is I'm going to connect the first dart. This dart, I'll connect in the curve to join the three quarter of an inch. I'll do the same to the dart at the back also. I'll connect it to the three quarter of an inch. Okay. This dart connected to the same three quarter of an inch. The next thing is to connect this dot and also this dart to the side. So you can decide where you want the next uh, drip to be. So here I'll just come down by one and a half inch it can be creative about this it can be more it can be lesser so i'm using one and a half inch then i'll just connect in the curve to join this point like so then i'll do the same to this other that i'll connect it to the same spot i'm going to cut it out now At this point, I need to label before continue the cutting. So I'll just label one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have a fresh paper here, so I'll first draw a line at the center, just draw a straight line, okay, like so, right. So now I'm going to take the widest part of the panel, that's the center back and the center front. So now I'm going to mark two and a half inch up, two and a half inch. Like so, put a dot, that's the, from the bottom of the pattern paper, the new pattern paper. So I'm going to set it like so, I'm going to slant it, I hope you can see. Just slant this uh, panel, then I'm masking it down, right? Then I'm going to measure the space, the, way, the width of the spreading, so I to align with this second one. I'll measure so it to be the same. Make sure it's the same, then I'll mask it down also. This panel is panel number one and panel number six. To place the next panel, I'm going to measure two inches as a guide. I can adjust it the way I want later on, but just to guide me. So I'll just mark two inches. All right. Now I'll be placing panel number two and panel number three on the two inches mark. 
I'll set it, then I'll make sure the, the space in between the center line is the same. So I'll just set it, then mask it down. I'm going to measure to be double short. I have the same space, okay? To set the next panel, I'm going to measure two inches, just like we did previously. Now I'm going to place panel three and panel four together. Make sure they are touching. That's the hip side. Make sure they are touching. All right. Like I said, that two inches is just a guide. So you can adjust it the way you want. So I'll just place it, then mask it down. What I'm going to do now is to curve the bottom because we don't want it to be too sharp. So I'll just draw a slight curve like so. Okay. I'll be folding the space we have in between the panels. Just fold it to touch the next panel. Then I'll use my tracing wheel to trace it. Okay. It's going to give me a small triangle. Right. So I'll do the same to this other panel also. The space in between the panels, I'll just I'll use my tracing wheel to trace it. Now I'm going to use my marker pen to connect this small triangle. I'm going to do the same to the other side. I'm done. I have the triangle at this other side also. So at this point, you can just add your seam allowance all round or you cut and place it on your fabric to add your seam allowance. Here I've added my seam allowance all round. Okay, so at the center back I added one and a half inch for my zipper allowance. Then here at the bottom half an inch. Then this center front I decided to add joining. So half an inch. You can actually leave it to place it on fold. Then here I added half an inch. Then this hip side half an inch. Then here also half an inch. So the next thing now, I want to connect this space, this, this space that we have. I want to draw a line to join the seam allowance so that I would know where to fold. I almost forgot about the dart. If we did not cut it out, then we have to include it in the space we're going to fold for the drip. So this line I just drew, I'm going to redraw it. So I'm going to include the dart allowance to the fold. Hope you understand what I'm saying. So I'll just redraw it like so. Then when I'm folding, the dart allowance will be included in the folding. So here it is cut out on a folded fabric, so I have two. So now I'm going to snip the fold area, the place I want to fold. I'm going to place small, small cuts on it. Then don't forget the dart, so I'll come backward so I can include the dart in the place I'm going to fold. So I'll just place my small cuts like so. So as not to be confused when I'm stitching, so I'll need to mark the place I'm going to fold. So I'll just raise my pattern up, then I'm going to mark it here. This is the place I'm going to fold. I'll just mark it like so. Okay, then come to the next place. Okay, the marking is not, the cutting is not really showing, so I'll just recut. 
all right then i'll place my marking there then i'll do it to the other side also i'll mark it So as not to get confused when stitching, so I'm going to mark this place, this center back. I'll just put my chalk there so that I would know when I'm stitching. Then this is the center front. So the first thing now, I'm going to stitch my half an inch, then fix my zipper at the back. Then I'll be right back. So here it is, stitch down this center front. Like I said, you can actually place it on foot, but I have a cut there. Then this is the back also, my zipper is fixed, then I have small opening, then I can use a bias to finish the hem. Now we want to come to the hip side. So here is the hip side. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fold it like so. Then I'm going to stitch the same allowance, half an inch. I'll just stitch it like so. Do the same here also. Fold it. Then stitch on half an inch. So here it is. I have a stitch. So I'm going to trim. So I to lay flat when I turn it inside out. I'm going to turn it inside out. So it's time to create the folds, okay, or the drape. So all the marked area, we're going to fold it. You fold it towards the side seam. This side area, this hip area, you fold it towards it, like I'm doing. At this point, if you have not subscribed, please don't forget to support me by subscribing. You can also hit the notification bell so as to get notified when I upload new videos. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It will really, really help me to grow. Thank you. So now you pin it down. Just pin. Then you take the next uh, notch area. That's the mark area. You fold it also towards the uh, size seam. Then you pin it down. So turn it to the front. Then you fold also towards the side seam, the hip area. Just fold. Then pin. I'm going to repeat the same process to this other side. I'm going to fold towards the side seam. That's the hip area. Okay, so now I'm going to take it to the machine, then stitch it all around. So I have it looking really nice, okay? So I'm going to cut the excess zipper off, then I'll use bias to fold the bottom, then I'll place my band, then I'll be right back. So here it is, I have my band fixed, so I'll just unstitch my hook and eye. Then here is the bottom, I turn it with my bias, then stitch down. Here is a drape looking nice, so I will place it on the dress form for you to see it really well. Here it is looking really, really nice. If you're able to create yours through this video, please don't forget to tag me on my Instagram handle. I will leave the link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Till I come your way again, bye for now.